guys welcome back to our channel where the blue fern grows today is all about wine runners and blues breed today so we're going to start off with a few fun facts about wine runners so the first fun fact about wine runners is that they're extremely clever they're sometimes called the dog with the human brain because of how smart they are and if you don't take that intelligence and put it into something productive you're definitely going to have a dog that destroys everything so that is the first fun fact. The second fun fact, if you didn't know, is that they're one of the fastest breeds. Some of them can reach up to 35 miles per hour. Now, that's not necessarily, that's how fast Montre drives. So, just to put that into perspective. And also, you guys probably saw on our Instagram that Blue's eyes were really, really, really blue when we first got her. However, now they're turning into a yellow. So that is something about wine runners that not everybody knows is that their eyes change colors with age. So to move on, we're going to start with five things that you should know before you even get a wine runner puppy because they can be, you know, a more difficult breed, especially for your first dog if you are a first time dog owner. So one of the first things that you need to know is that they love to cuddle. They will literally give you back pain when you sleep because they want to sleep right up on you in the weirdest positions they don't care if you're comfortable just as long as they're comfortable and the second thing is is that they are one of the most active dog breeds if you have a more sedentary lifestyle or you don't have an area where you can take them very often I mean we take the dogs for walks three to four times a week and then you know we have a fenced in backyard where they can just run there you don't need this dog if you cannot be active so make sure if you're getting a wine runner you are able to you know comply with their active lifestyle the next one is that they are smart and clever like we talked about before if you don't put that into something productive you're gonna have a dog who chews things up and is just a destructive dog so make sure if you get a wine runner you are able to do a lot of training they love to please the next thing about wine runners is that they will eat everything, whether it's food or not. So in the in another video, we're going to talk about how we had to take Blue to an emergency vet because she was eating rocks and grass and just things that she shouldn't be eating. So you got to really watch them carefully. You can't leave them outside alone. So make sure that when they're outside, if you do decide to get this breed, that you're watching them and there's nothing that they can eat that can possibly cause an obstruction. And last but not least, they're not the type of dog that really likes to be left alone. You really have to work on that with them. Um, Blue, fortunately, has a partner in crime, so she's really never alone. So that really helps with any separation anxiety from us. So that really definitely helped us in the long run to have uh, another dog in the house. So these are the things that, these are the five things that you really need to consider before you get a wine runner. To make sure that your lifestyle, you know, accommodates for them. So before you get a wine runner, you should really, really think about these things. So thanks for coming back, guys, to our channel to watch us and to watch the puppies. And enjoy this video of them walking and having a great time. Guys, come on. Oh no, go rocks. All pine hair. And don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe and comment down no. below what you want to see next week. And we will see you next time. Leave it. Girl, come on.